Rotherham wanted revenge. The 5-0 hammering by Sheffield United earlier in the season still haunted the supporters as their South Yorkshire counterparts made the short trip to Millmore. A packed crowd provided an exhilarating atmosphere as the Millers attempted to banish the previous result and get the revenge they desired. But despite dominating for most of the game, there was to be further frustration for Rotherham fans in the South Yorkshire derby. Rotherham United manager Ronnie Moore. He, more than anybody here today, will be wanting his Rotherham United side to gain revenge over the Blades for that defeat earlier in the season. Very determined figure, Ronnie Moore. Stockdale again with a long throw. And the shot came in from Monkhouse. And it was straight at Kenny. I think it took a reflection on the way through, but had it been either side of Kenny, it may have caused him problems. Snapshot and straight at the United keeper. Lack of consistency from Mr. Pearson, referee. Having booked swells for something very similar to the challenge of Kozlok. Kozlok is keeping the caution. Mullen into the area and it's fallen quite nicely and it needed an excellent save from Paddy Kenny to prevent Rotherham from going 1-0 up. It was Michael Proto with a shot. Mullins ball into the area, slack defending from Sheffield United. Page just stood up Proctor to that. Now top. Left footed ball forward finds Busata. Cuts inside. And now here's Gray who goes down and the referee has given a penalty. Andy Gray was fouled in the area. And Sheffield United, right at the start of the second half, have a big chance to go 1-0 up. It was Andy Gray who was tripped by Chris Swales. And right in front of those Sheffield United fans, the Blades have a chance to go in front. Swales was the culprit, the Rotherham captain. And what a chance here for Sheffield United to go 1-0 up. It's going to be Jack Lester with the penalty. He steps up and he sends Pollock the wrong way. And that's 1-0 to Sheffield United. Right at the start of the second half. And the Blades fans behind that goal go wild. What a start for Neil Warnock's team. Hyde Ford now. Butler's on site. What a chance here for Rotherham. Pulls it back to Monkhouse and that's 1-1. Rotherham equalise against the run of play and it's Andy Monkhouse with the goal Kenny is beaten and Rotherham have a way back into this game Miller's fans celebrate it was Martin Butler who was onside and he took his time and picked up Monkhouse and with Kenny down it was an easy tap in for Monkhouse and Rotherham United have hit straight back in this South Yorkshire derby. Butler played it back to Stockdale. Rotherham mounting more pressure on that shift than United goal, and Butler was in there. Once again, getting up above Page, who struggled sometimes in the air this evening. It's played forward, touched by Page, although Hurst was in there. And now Proctor, and he slipped it through for Butler. Great save by Paddy Kenny. Crucial save from the Sheffield United goalkeeper. Has an overlap from Minto, and he's found Minto with a great pass. And now it's Scott Minto, brilliant into the area, and just wide. Paul Warren was arriving, and two great chances for Rotherham in the space of a minute. For Rotherham. Right in front of the Rotherham fans. This time it'll be Andy Munkhouse to take it. Munkhouse's cross. Did it come off the post there? Not quite sure. Excellent from the start. I thought there was only one side going to win it. You know, we've had the chances. When you look where they are in the league and where we are, that type of performance can keep us in this league. I thought it was, a, you know, a good point in the end. I thought we worked very, very hard. And I said to the lads after, you know, don't be disappointed at that. After the way the goal was conceded, you know, there was nothing wrong other than, uh, you know, somebody with a flag who's, for whatever reason, I, I just, it's what it wasn't even close.